What are you making? Coffee. Probably the last time you made coffee out of this kitchen. Yeah. I'll say goodbye to the fridge. The last time you opened that too. I get it. Have you cleared out your room yet? Okay, how about maybe you have the coffee? Yeah? I'm just going to walk. My mom is driving me insane. I'm okay, but uh, thanks for asking. Family problems? Yeah, something like that. I feel like a failure. Oh. It's a little melodramatic, don't you think? Nope. No, um, I can't see my life getting any better. If anything, I just feel like I'm regressing. Okay, and what's this based off of? The novel on how one's life has to be lived, or...? God. Seriously, you're... You're older. Much older? How was your life like when you were 20? My boyfriend died of an overdose that year. <clears throat> Look, Maddie, I think we're like automatically conditioned to think that we're failures. When at the first hurdle, things don't seem to be panning out how we envisioned. And yeah, I don't think there's enough space for everyone's lofty dreams, but you, you haven't even given yourself a chance to legitimately fail yet. In this industry, everyone is so competitive for this immediate success. So when the time ticks by, and you still haven't gotten your first Emmy, then yeah, once again, you're programmed to think that you're a failure. Yeah. God, I wish I could resist certain urges though. You know, like, when we get word that a new co-production is being made, I'll go straight to the cast and compare their ages to mine. And if the lead actress is 23 and has two IMDb credits, I'd be like, okay, cool. So I still have three years to get to what she is achieved. <laughs> I've been there before. Right? Trust me, yeah. Like what is with that? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's just, it's just a path that's laden with anxiety and self-doubt. You know? For me, I mean, I chose to become an actor rather impulsively, so I didn't really think about what would happen if it didn't work out. Yeah, too much time had passed by and it wasn't really working out, and I started to panic, and I was like, oh shit, like, <laughs> maybe I should have done coding or, you know, accounting. Right. That sounds <laughs> kind of good right about now. Mm. <laughs> But yeah, I have to just knock that shit out of my head because it's not this prescriptive thing where you need like to collect four power badges to advance to the next level. Yeah, an accountant stuff. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. I wonder if my dad would have preferred though if I went down the accounting route, like you know, steady job, steady income. Then I probably wouldn't have to hear every couple of months. Are you making any money in the acting though? You know, do you make any money? I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a big possibility nothing will ever happen for me, but you know, I wake up every day not knowing that that's a certainty. Until I'm like 80 and the only thing I've ever gotten is a walk on roll in Emmerdale. Well, yeah, then I'll take the hint. Yeah. yeah. 
for all we know, someone out there is writing a sapphic masterpiece. And you're what they're looking for. God. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. God, I hope it has an age gap. Uh, you know? Like student teacher kind of vibe. Oh yeah. Also wouldn't mind um, if it was present time because all Hollywood are serving us lately as corsets, corsets, corsets. You do know that lesbians exist in the 21st century. Amen. Amen. Well, you need to stop with the comparing yourself though, for real. I mean, your power is that you're you. You're so young. <laughs> you so much time, really. Yeah, I know. I know, I know myself. But I just need to calm down. Anyway. I should probably go home, you know, and give my mom an old dig out with the pack. Mm, yeah. Well, I'll be here if you ever need me. Just a phone call away. Oh yeah, do you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. C'est la vie. Okay, are you guys happy with the yeah. where, how yeah, that went? Yeah, yeah, yeah because yeah. Uh, I think we should wrap it up. Are we finished with this episode now? Yeah. I'll be walking to the dart station if you want to keep rolling. Yeah, I'd say yeah. we'll just get yeah. some yeah. coverage. We'll get some yes. yeah. Okay. Attention, please. This is a platform alteration. The train is now standing at platform 7 is the 1417 service to Munu. Calling at from Kanka, Broom Ridge, Ashton, Navan Grove Parkway, Castle. It's the bell drop by Sylvia Plath!